the forefront. I, I <laughs> it's not because I take it, <laughs> but I do take I take CBD. That's the oil. I do take CBD for medical purposes. I have uh, I'm one person who have I'm convinced about the use to which we can put my iguana. And I know of a fact, because we had had to bring in experts who have gone round and believe that the strain of my iguana that you grow in Ogbese, in Ondo State, is the best in the world. So, so if, if you have that, so a government must find a way, at least, for us to find a way to put it to good use. So our own is the look pathway to growing marijuana for medical purposes. It's not for anybody to smoke. And that's why we told NDLA, you have your office. The place will be within bounds in which you will know. So by the time they extract the oil, the oil will go. You will not see anybody selling uh, marijuana to people to, for smoking. And, and one thing that we have found out is that the moment you leave the issue of ban, most people don't get involved in some of those crimes any longer. So I know that people who are there who put on marijuana leaves, that is not it. But for medicinal purposes, and the demand is high. The, the consultant, the, the experts that came, came in from Canada to come and test. Yes, it is true. And they even went with it from here, with permission from ADLA. So after the test, after everything, they further look, you have a better strain than anywhere in the world. So why don't we come in here, develop this place, and farm, and get the seed for medicinal purposes? I don't see anything wrong in it. And I'm, I'm still fighting it. We don't see anything at all wrong in it, because at the end of the day, we need, the medicine is being imported here now. The CBD from Knox and Coda we take is from outside this country. And they are using marijuana from few or other African countries. So why not? So I don't see anything wrong in it. Uh. Thank you. Thank you. Marijuana, that is the CBD, the oil you extract from it is potentials are so large. There is no way I will sit here and tell you all it does. But I can tell you a few. One, you talk about people who suffer from cancer. You know they are virtually in pain. And when you take this, they give them. You will not feel pain. But take it from me. You can ask people who are doctors. We don't need to start this marijuana or this CBD before, before using it. It is being used now in all hospitals in the world. All. That's why you have where they keep those drugs. There are about three, four people who have the keys. So not one person can open it. So when they have operation, they use it. Now, some of us, people who have joint pains, go and ask. They take it. It's worked for people with joint pains. If you cannot sleep, you take it, you will sleep very well. So, so it's for you to look. Go on, if you Google it, you will see it. It's the CBD. The effect is large it's for many things. You know, well, I, let, me, let me tell you, I remember, well, that's, that's my way of life. I, you can, you can do it. I can do it. I don't, don't, don't let me be afraid. I always remember what Felan Kulakotu used to say about this thing. He says, on a life is social enjoyment. Make with the gram. Make with the salam. Ujari, on a life, Ujari. I'm sure that they are in best position to tell you. The civil servants in those states are probably the happiest civil servants you can find anywhere. They are very happy. Well, we pay their salaries as I went due, and as a payment of salary for this month, 
the new minimum wage has been applied. So I'm sure they're happy. We have paid the minimum wage for this one, and for, we can pay. We pay it from henceforth. There's no other thing we can do. Ah, you know something? The president will tell you, sitting with him. The president does not. He doesn't schedule his movement. But I can assure you that yes, we spoke, and it was it was visibly impressed that we were able to do that project, and I'm sure that uh, he will want to come. But it is his scope and the chief of staff that will schedule when he's going to come. It might not even be within the time of our celebration, which is all right by us. We'll wait any time because he, we want the president to be the one to. That project for us is important. And there are two projects we are asking the president to come and commission. The second one is our Ondo Lee Industrial Hub. You just need to go there. I think we will invite all of you to come one, day, one of these days or get your people to go there. That is an industrial hub for this country. It's the only place today that we're having cassava to ethanol. We have a factory for cassava to ethanol. We have a factory that produces MDF and PDF, all these ones we are having here, the only one in Nigeria. And we have a factory that has paper mill. We have where we are producing textile. We have invited many people, and I'm sure that they are starting uh, a plant for, car, for buses or big lorries soon. So I, I explained everything to Mr. President. I'm sure that he was he felt elated, and I'm sure he will find time to come. It's cost us about five points, over five billion. It is, it is an important project to us. So we, we go to people in Odibo or area, and when they say, oh, there is road somewhere else, we have done several kilometers of road, and I say to them, those kilometers of road are not as costly as what we are doing here. But I know the people are happy because they, are, they will say it everywhere several, if not all, all government before us promise that we have that flyover. But we promise and we have kept our promise. We have made sure that our word is abound. So everybody is happy about it. It's not a small figure project.